Hey everyone, it's Ariel, and we're back to another episode of Ariel and Heart Rate Gaming, and we're back to my time at Sandrock. We just finished capturing Andy, so Andy is part of the town now. Uh, we're waiting on the next thing, but we have a lot of uh, little events that are popping up over town, so we'll probably run around and go see what's going on and what that's about, and we'll go from there. Give it back now, you thieving pipsqueak! <laughs> nuh uh. No takesies backsies. Takesies backsies is not legal terminology. You signed a contract! No, I didn't. Yes, you did! What's a contract? Oh, why you little. Commissioner, what all this commotion? Why are you harassing this innocent child here? <laughs> it's president, ma'am. And this innocent child is in fact a devious criminal. Have you forgotten? He bamboozled our whole town and made a tomfoolery of our rule of law. More importantly, he commissioned a very expensive shield from me that he has yet to pay for. You promised me vast riches, boy. <laughs> I demand my vast riches. You fell for it because you're dumb. I scammed you fair and square. Shield's mine now. Such dishonesty. Oh, how I loathe such behavior. <laughs> Indeed, there's nothing worse than one who tells lies. Oh, stuff it, Commissioner. Yes, he was in the wrong, but he's just a kid. And he was all alone out in the desert. Boo we need to give him a good sand rock welcome. <sighs> Let him have his toy. Yeah. Welcome, you sloppy mustache. <laughs> uh... <sighs> Screw you, yeah. Easy for you to say, builder. Unlike you, I take pride in my work. Allowing such larky caperings diminishes the prestige of my office. If you yeah, want to give out say. shields left and right over at a Dinkerton or whatever you call yourself, that's all well and good. Mm -hmm. But here at the producer, we believe in a little thing I like to call integrity. Now give me the money, kid. Give me it now. Now, now, now. Listen here, Commissioner. You leave this boy alone. Hear me? You send me the bill for his toy. You really ought to be ashamed of yourself. Funnily enough, I'm not. I feel <laughs> great. Ah, Bill, it's like music to my ears. Well, you yokels can redefine morality all you like, so long as I get that check in the mail. Just don't come crawling back to me when this boy reverts to a life of crime. Or worse, becomes a crusty juggler. Ta! Oh, wow. All right. Thanks for helping me. Can I... Call you grandma? Sure, sugar. Everyone does. But Andy, you need to learn some responsibility, you hear? I think I got a few chores you can start handling for a little pocket money. That way you can start earning the things you want the right way. How does that sound? Grandma, you're so nice to me. <laughs> I'm gonna try real hard to do housework and pay you back and... and... Uh, why are grandmas always so nice to me? My grandma, she, she... What's wrong? You miss your grandma. That's all right, sugar. You let it out. Grandma's right here. I'm tough. I'm not crying, promise. Even the toughest people cry sometimes, Andy. Say, why don't you come over to our place right now? I'll make cookies for you and Jack. Whoa. You're the coolest person in this town by far. Oh, I think you'll find plenty of us are pretty cool here. Yeah, Vivi's awesome. Mm. At the oh, at the board maybe. Okay. Again with the bandana in the photo. Sorry, sir. I'm just not good at drawing <laughs> the lower halves of people's faces. <laughs> That and hands. Man. I only had the confidence to draw Andy because we just saw him. <laughs> People seem to really care that these posters look good. Remember when you drew those wanted posters for the other city-states in a hurry? Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, I also think we can agree. People got a little carried away with the critiquing of my work. Personally, I thought they were fine. Yeah, they were fine. Oh, hey, what do you think of the new posters? Do you, uh... 
Think you could recognize one of these son of a guns from like uh, the bridge <laughs> of their nose up? Yeah. Yeah, right? I mean, they're always wearing the bandanas anyway, especially when they're perpetrating criminal activities and the whatnot. So, maybe it's better to do it this way anyway. And the top parts of everyone's heads, well, <laughs> they always look pro when you do it, pal. Thanks, guys. Take your easy. Watch out for bandits. You're doing great, may, sure. may not be wearing bandanas. And in case they're not, uh, just be ready to use your imagination, I guess. <laughs> I think it's awesome, I'm sure. Good job. We got more going on down here. Sheriff! When Andy was disguised, the cookie jar from our house disappeared. <laughs> there were a lot of cookies inside. Is there any chance that you and the Civil Corps will be able to recover our lost valuables? Um, listen, Jasmine. In 80% of all cookie thefts, <laughs> the confectionaries are consumed within the first 12 hours. That number rises to 99% <laughs> after 24. And based on the criminal profile... The guy ate your cookies. What? Oh, that dirty, rotten, no-good thief! I hate bandits. <laughs> Could you two learn a little bedside manner? <laughs> She's just a girl. Jeez. Sometimes the truth hurts. <laughs> Poor Jasmine. He stole your cookies. Uh-huh. Uh, See ya. Looks like there's another one over by the Civil Corps. Is it inside the Civil Corps building? I guess. Oh, they're going to interrogate him. If you don't tell him. us where Logan is, I'm going to be really angry. <laughs> I thought he was going to say scary. I'm going to be really scary. <laughs> you better do what he says. He's crazy. <laughs> He's crazy. Man. Before Forehead over there was the good cop and Dreadlocks was the bad cop, now you're the good cop? At least get your interrogation technique straight. Sheesh. <sighs> Bunch of amateurs. Dang it, this is going nowhere. Uh, look, kid, just tell us where Logan is. Lives are at stake here. You better do what he says. He's crazy. <laughs> ah, good grief. <laughs> now you're both good cops. Thanks, Andy. Nobody's ever said that about us before. <laughs> Whose side are you on, man? Oh, uh, hey. Uh, Sorry unsure. you had to see all that. Can I go now? Got a love. Yeah, a lot this of love nowhere. for unsure and You want to try asking a few questions? I'll crack him like an egg. Uh, yeah. Sure. Take a swing. It's probably not gonna go anywhere, but um. Oh yeah, why come? He's. Danger to himself. You know, Haru's always saying the same thing. But that's what I like about Logan. He doesn't think, he just does stuff. That's living the dream. All right. So what if I do or help y'all? Really What's selfish. in it for me? Huh? All the candy you can eat. All the candy I can eat, eh? Hmm. All right, fine. I'll tell you what I know. I'm getting bored of this anyway. Truth is, truth is, truth is, I don't know nothing. Yeah, that's right. Logan made sure I never knew nothing about what he was doing, where we were going. Nothing. Heck, I don't even know what he's got against y'all. But hmm. he took care of me and mine when I was lost out in this desert. That makes him all right in my book. Me and mine? Were there more of you? He made sure if I ever ended up here, I wouldn't know anything that could put him in his outfit in danger. So there. Looks like he outsmarted you lot. I predicted how dumb I is. I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I don't know nothing. Couldn't help you even if I wanted to. So let me go already. Uh... I heard Haru and Logan talk about how Penn's a tough opponent. And they were waving around a picture of some red-haired fella saying he was coming to town soon, so... I came up with a plan. Make a disguise, get a super shield, get a super shield. walk space punch, obviously. Block space punch. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> I don't know nothing. Couldn't help you even if I wanted to. So let me go already. As someone who also knows nothing, I feel he's telling the truth. <laughs> Still a bit fishy from where I'm standing. Howdy, boys. Ah, you're here too. If I'd known, I'd have brought you something. Thanks, Grace. Just put the food on the table if you would. Kind of busy. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> she pulled the food out of her pocket. <laughs> Doing a little, uh, interrogation here? Uh, yeah. How'd you guess? We really ought to get back to it, though. Can't tell if this kid is telling the truth or not. Thought we already figured it hey, out. Hey, what are you? Ah, no, mommy! Ah! Get her away from me! I'll do anything you say. 
I told you everything already. I told you everything. <laughs> He's telling the truth. Uh, yeah, all right, Andy. You're off the hook for now. You just stay out of trouble, all right? Everyone else, dismissed. I need to <laughs> go for a walk or something. You got this justice hanging there. <laughs> um... Uh, Grace, can I ask? What you said to the kid? Uh, nothing much. Just a little something to strike fear into the heart of any grade school aged troublemaker. Right. And that's just another trick you picked up on the college debate team? <laughs> More of a babysitting tactic. Little boys can be monsters when their parents aren't around. Gotta know how to work them. <laughs> Alright, looks like we got one more Bronco the Kid scene here. What's so good about or Sunday school? Andy. My, yeah. I heard it was a rotten time where you just sit listening to boring church stories. Worse, the even boring or kid versions where there's no blood or guts. Mm, yeah, it's kind of like that. But you can just think of other stuff while they're talking. The church people are funny. Burgess is cute. He's afraid of everything. Last week, the cat knocked over a bottle, and we spent the whole day checking <laughs> the church for ghosts. <laughs> Penn thinks he's the prettiest man in the world. We can just take him to a room with a mirror. He'll stay there all day, and then we can go play. <laughs> cool. Hey, so, uh, you always gonna be at Sunday school? Yep. Well, uh, maybe I can stick around this town for a while. Hey, tell Andy how fun Sunday school is gonna be. Tell the words you're dealing with me. Yeah, see? You're gonna like everything about Sand Rock better than being a bandit. Uh, well, I don't know about that. How am I supposed to live my life without doing crimes? I think you'll find it surprisingly easy. <laughs> Alright, we got another picture I picked up somewhere for Mort. Ah, this is... Though I'm glad to have this back. The memories that come with it are uh, unpleasant. Who could have known where things would go? Is that the canyon? With the... Thing? It looks really that different. Dyson. He believes Sandrock held countless hidden treasures. One day, one of his men fell in a hole, and it turned out he was right. The old world metropolis under our feet held untold amount of relics. Mostly intact, too. Countless folk rushed in after that. Vegetation was trampled, water was squandered, and animals lost their homes. Only the roar of machines and an inseparable haze were left here in Sandra. Mottles and my regrets meant little to the newcomers. And once the railway was open, there was really no stopping them. We had to watch those relic rush miners pluck every petal off our desert flower. And soon there was nothing left. Young one, thank you for bringing this to me. It feels good to share these old stories with someone no who will help. No problem, Mort. Please stop by. You got it. All right, let's see what we got in the mail today. Oh, fireside tomorrow. Okay, and a letter from Justice. There was a reward to anyone who helped save your catch that bandit kid. You were no doubt number one in making that happen, so we're giving all, the whole pot to you. Couldn't have done it without you. We'll try to be a little bit more observant in the future. Sweet. Room tokens are always nice. Oh, it looks like Bronco the Kid is here already. Do you have any idea how fast you were going there, little lady? Yeah, I'm the fastest in the world. I was going a million leagues per hour. Oh, you know, uh, when I said you have the right to remain <laughs> silent, uh, that wasn't just empty chatter. I, I, I've heard enough. You're coming with me, little lady. There's laws against running too fast? But how am I supposed to deliver everyone's letters before they wake up? Wait, no, I'm sorry. I'll slow down. Whoa there, partner. Uh, you uh, trying to interfere with the law of the land? Is that a concealed pick hammer? Hands where I can see them. Nice and slow. Now, all you need to understand, buckaroo, is that I am authorized by the Sandrock government and the Alliance Council to take you in if need be. So, I suggest you drop the attitude and start answering my questions. Hmm. Hmm. That's right. 
If I'm not mistaken, you are the builder who captured that Andy. All a bit convenient, wouldn't you say? Uh, now then, what's your relationship with the infamous Logan gang member, Andy? Hmm? My sources tell me that you were seen fraternizing with him shortly before and after he was apprehended. Uh, care to share your alibi? <laughs> hmm. Wow. Absolutely airtight. You provided dates, times, and a <laughs> list of witnesses who could vouch for you. In fact, it seems you've been decisively crucial to every successful law enforcement campaign to take pretty place much. in this city since your arrival. Well, that pretty well clears you of all suspicion, buckaroo. Yep, you'd have to be crazy to suspect someone like yourself at this point, but... Sometimes the least suspicious suspect <sighs> is actually the most suspicious. And frankly, all of the citizens of Sandrock are suspect. All right. I'll have my eye on you, buckaroo. Knock yourself out. On your way. All right. So. Hmm? <laughs> so Bronco the kid is actually here now. Hello. All right. So now we got more going on over here. Mm-hmm. So, you've spoken with the pets, as I asked? Um, yeah, about that. Well, me and Unsure were talking, and, uh, well, we started maybe thinking that this particular course hmm. of action... We thought it was dumb. Hmm. We thought it was dumb, yeah. sir. Dumb? You think I would just hand down top-secret orders without verifying the integrity of your um, mission? Well, you don't gotta take it so bad, sir. I mean, everybody has bad ideas hmm. sometimes. More bad than good here. Mm -hmm. Oh man, well hey, sometimes you gotta get through all the bad ideas before you get to the good ones, know what Thank I mean? Thank you. Yeah, maybe you're right. Thanks, Sheriff. I feel better. Uh, Listen, you two, you wanna catch this crook mm. or not? Sure we do, it's mm. just... Then you better start doing things my way, the Bronco the Kid um, way. I guess we could give it one more try. Mm. I'll go find more shiny stuff to give the bird. Mm -hmm. That's more like it. So he's got them interrogating the animals. That seems like the best course of action. Going on. Are they harassing Dandy? He's harassing Dandy. You don't have to answer that, Riri. We're not citizens of your alliance. We're citizens of the world. N hold on, babe. I think it's best that we just answer the officer's questions. What have we done that's illegal? We are simply traveling. Sir, we do not consent to your laws. You two are really starting to grind my gears, especially you, Four Eyes. Mm -hmm. How could you say something so poignantly hurtful yet so true? Are we being detained? If we are not being detained, then we're free to leave. You are not being detained. However, by the authority vested in me through Sandrock San City Hall, I am permitted to temporary detention of all citizens and travelers for questioning as I see fit. I'm not the one dragging things out here. You are. Don't tell him nothing, Riri. Snitches get stitches. We, we don't have anything to snitch about. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Hand over the omelets. Nice and slow. Don't make any mm -hmm. sudden movements. You're saying my omelets ought to be classified as weaponry? Dang, that's a hot mm. take. I've heard the uh -huh. tales. Well, here you go. Mm. Good, good. You know how to play ball with the law. I'm starting to like you, mm. fry cook. Hot sauce? Maybe made fresh just this morning. Uh. I don't handle spicy foods very well. I'm more of a mayonnaise guy. Although occasionally I do dabble <gasps> in the mustard. I really thought a heroic bandit dabber such as yourself would be able to handle a little bit of chili paste on their omelette. That's kind of disappointing. Mm. Well, it's true. I'm new in town. Perhaps a spectacle of strength would inspire some confidence in the ordinary mm. citizens. Lovely. Here you are. <laughs> By the light, this is terrible. Ooh. It's just so incredibly bad. And my mouth is on um. fire. Oops, guess I'm just a silly ordinary citizen who can't cook. Tee <laughs> hee, enjoy your omelet. Mm. It's the worst thing I've ever eaten in my life. The spices are quite bad. The omelet itself is even worse. <laughs> I regret everything. <laughs> oh boy. All right, we got another thing. He's up here checking out the scrapyard, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Don't harass Rocky Bronco. You're going to get yourself in trouble. Perhaps it's you. You're the spy. You communicate with Logan by smacking certain rocks in a certain order. It's one ding for yes and two dings for no. Say it ain't the truth. I don't know what you're talking about, pal. These weird ac accusations are confusing me. And when I get confused, I start to get um. angry. 
uh huh, and I suppose you're one of those, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry types, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh. I'll come back at a better time. <laughs> yeah, you better. <laughs> Okay, we're going to wrap this episode up right here. So, got to introduce Andy to the town, and now the real Bronco the Kid is here. So, he's going to start his investigation and all the shenanigans that are going to come with that. So, uh, also, we have the fireside meeting uh, tomorrow. Yeah. So we'll be doing the fireside meeting, which I'm sure they're gonna like introduce, like, hey, this is the bounty hunter, blah, 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 blah. And then we're gonna start our investigation and move forward with the main story. So if you enjoyed, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. See ya!